What's up guys, I'm back like I never left. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Workhorse and Hylion stock. I'm gonna go over exactly some of the losses that I took with Hylion position. I'm also gonna be going over exactly some strategies that you can use in order to recoup some of the losses that you took if you're somebody that's holding Hylion shares. We're gonna go over a strategy that you can use to make income while we're waiting for this stock to eventually climb higher. We're gonna be doing a quick stock market recap, so make sure you stay tuned. Now let's get right into the video. All right, before we get into the video, I appreciate it if you guys can hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions or any comments, make sure you drop in the comment section below. As you can see over here, the stock market went higher today, mainly due to the more positive news that is coming out, the stimulus package news, and they're getting closer and closer to the number that they're wanting. You know, recently the White House is saying that they're willing to step up the stimulus number to $1.8 trillion and the other party they're saying that they wanted to around 2.4 trillion dollars so we'll see exactly what is going to be the amount of numbers they're going to be agreed upon and potentially pass a stimulus package while the stock market is definitely going to be breaking out higher if that stimulus package passes through so as you can see today based off of that news the stock market also went higher except for some sectors the energy sector is basically lagging down and also some of the financial sector stocks have also been going to the down side but overall we edged higher and higher due to the positive news that is coming out about the stimulus so make sure you understand that the sole stock market right now is paying attention to the stimulus package you know anytime any negative news or any positive news can definitely spike or crash the stock market drastically within a matter of you know, like second minutes if the news breaks out at any time so be, be super careful now let's talk about workhorse stock as you can see over here, Workhorse stock is up 12.62% of the upside, positive $3. So that is really fantastic because yesterday there was a bad news that came out. They're talking about short sellers really trying to drag down the stock to the downside. However, that news really did not affect Workhorse and the majority of the information presented on that hit piece was really not accurate information. This stock is really not taking that information seriously at the same time. And also we have other institutions that are buying into this company and that is driving the stock higher. And also the positive news with the sentiment about the stimulus package also helped the overall stock market to go higher. So it's really fantastic to see where core stock is really digesting all that negative information and eventually going higher significantly even though we had a lot of negative news that tried to make the stock go to the downside. When you compare the same amount of information being released for nickel and motor stock, you know, when the hit piece came out, the stock drastically started to sell off to the downside and a lot of people started to expose nickel and motors and Trevor Milton started to do all these kind of negative things and that affected the stock to go even lower. But that is not the case that happens to Workhorse stock. Workhorse is a different company. You have a lot of institutions that are buying this company. They do their own research and they have a lot of analysts that go through in detail about this company so they know before they get involved and they invest a lot a lot of money before they get involved in these companies so that's why i need to understand that so now let's talk about hylion stock i'm going to show you guys some of the losses that i took with hylion as you can see over here for the week uh, we're down minus 13.97 it was 495 dollars so this is the publicly uh, the public account that i use for the Patreon, it's a really small account. It's more of an educational account. I only trade options with this specific account. And as you can see over here, I had a position from last week and we were up significantly before the merger. We were up like all time highs. Our, our position was working beautiful. You know, highly on stock was going high, even though October 5th, it was slightly down lower. You know, the merger did not go through. I, I trade a very, very conservative strategy on this account. So as you can see, the stock just continued to go to the down downside and recovered a little bit and the second day it just went down October 6th it just went down again it started to recover and unfortunately the tweet came out from the president that the stimulus is not going to go through and the stock crashed and so did our portfolio it was just going down down we went down minus 33 percent and the next day is just sell off just continued continued eventually we hit minus 51 percent on the portfolio so that was a pretty big hit the stock was also similar 51 percent to the downside so that was a lot of a lot of sell-off that happened and 
Luckily, we only needed just a one day bounce for us to recover the majority of the profit that we made on this account, you know, started this account a few like eight, seven, eight weeks ago with like a, approximately $2,000. We're sitting approximately 52% higher. At one point, we're up 78%. You know, I thought I opened the position on Workhorse because I thought it was a very, very kind of guaranteed, more of high probability trade to open because we have a catalyst that's coming up pretty soon. The merger is going to go through, but still, I'll, I opened a position that was very, very conservative. So that was that was why I was able to recover the majority of it. It only needed a few percent bounce for Workhorse for us to regain the huge amount of profit that we made on this account so but luckily we went down we recovered you know 50 percent of our profit as you can see we're, we lost you know the 78 percent profit that we made the major profit that we made in this account but luckily we're still sitting pretty good you know 50 percent higher but now let's talk about exactly what we are going to be doing if you are holding some if you are holding shares in Halion stock what you can possibly do to generate income for yourself so let's check out exactly how to do that so the strategy that I'm going to explain to you in this video is to do covered calls. So for you to do this strategy, you need 100 shares of Halion stocks. So depending upon what price point that you got involved in it, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing a strategy called covered calls. And what you're going to be doing is going to be selling call options. You know, So if you're using Robinhood, all you have to do is come over here and you're going to be clicking on sell you know, on the top left corner over there and you can pick the different expiration dates. You know, the more expiration dates, the more time that you have, these options are going to be more expensive for people to buy them so you can sell them for a higher price. So let's say the option that you want to sell for October 16, as you can see over here, the prices they're going for, if you want to sell the 36, you can sell this one contract for $53, 0 0.53 multiply that by 100. You can sell this for $53. As I mentioned, you need 100 shares for them for you to do it. If you have 200 shares, you can be able to sell two contracts. If you have 300 shares, you can be able to sell three of these. And you can pocket more than $150 if you have more than 300 shares. If you have 300 shares, to be exact. So the ideal thing that you want to do is let's say you got involved $40 you know so let's come out to over here at $40 you can be able to sell this one contract that you bought in 100 shares you can sell and gain $25 and if the stock price goes to $40 you're still going to be able to make money and you're still going to be pocketing pocketing in the $25 that you collected when you sell this you're going to automatically going to receive $25. And if Halion stock goes to $40, you're still going to recover the major, the major loss that you took. And you know, the shares are probably going to be taken away, unfortunately, but you still be able to break even and get out of it and pocket any $25 profit. So ideally, I suggest for you to, if you're in a major loss right now, and you have more than, if you have 100, 200, 300 shares, just pick the strike price based on when you initially bought it, if you're at a loss right now. So if you bought it at 46, pick the 46. If you bought it at you know 40, pick the 40. If you bought it at 36, you know pick the 36 so that you're able to at least break even and pocket in the profit over here of the, uh, the premium that you're gonna be collecting from selling it. And if you're also somebody that wants to pocket in more by selling these options, you can go, you can pick different expiration times, you know, so you can do this every single week if you want to by changing it. But I highly suggest like you do it every week so you can pocket in that money. But the further you go, the more expensive these option prices go since they have more time and the more money that you can make. And let's say, for example, let's look at an example. We want to be trying to sell the, the 38, which is going to be now it's going for $33 for October 16 expiration. But if we go to the October 30 expiration, if you if you're trying to sell the 38, it's going to be worth 1.10, which is going to be $110. So the more that you go in time, the more expiration dates that the time you go, if you go to January 15, that's going to be more you can, can collect from, but you can still have to wait a lot of time for you to pocket in and make all the money. But automatically when you sell these contracts, you're going to be receiving the money and you're going to be keeping it. If highly on stock does not go to $38 and if it goes to $38, You'll be able to, you know, your share is going to be taken away from you. So let's say you sold this the $38 and highly on stock does not go to 30 to 38. So you get to keep the 110. Yeah, the $110 that you collected uh, by selling these options. And you can you keep doing it. So if highly on stock doesn't go to the price point of 38, you get to keep it. If it goes to 38 or above, you'll be able to your sell your shares are going to be taken away from you, but you're also going to be walking away 
with you know the hundred and ten dollars and you're also going to be breaking even basically and how you execute it is going to be you're just going to click on the sell over here and then you're going to click on that and you're going to be uh, total credit is going to be 110 so you just click on continue and you're going to be able to execute the trade that's how you execute the trade that is one of the strategies that you can use which is called a covered call options on hyln so if you have here somebody that's holding more than 100 shares you can do the strategy while waiting for the stock to bounce back higher and that's going to be it for this video if you have any questions or any comments make sure you drop them in the comment section below so but i catch you guys on tomorrow's video have a wonderful day mm -hmm.